Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 19. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here, and welcome back to this week's news report that has plenty of action-packed news. We have a bit of news from uh, YieldNote CEO. We have also spoken to Elevate Pass CEO, and hopefully we'll have a long-coming interview very, very soon. We're going to just give you a bit of brief on that too. Then we have a free robot that we're going to tell you exactly where you're going to get it from. That is the Spaghetti Trader that we have been waiting for for uh, months and months. That has been released. We also have good news when it comes to the uh, other EA, so the Money 3 and also for the Profit Retriever, alternate strategies in here. And even the Trillion platform, we have seen some nice positive coin movements. We're going to go through all of it in the next 20-25 minutes. So let's get started and let's start off with yield notes and the quarterly profit. We are basically in the middle of Q2 now, which means that we are still about one and a half months away or six weeks away from getting the next 5% on our platform itself. No, you can't get it paid out. We believe we have mentioned that enough times here already, but at least it is good to know that we are getting closer and closer to the end of Q2 and hopefully also get a bit more info, especially on the NFTs. And that's where Steve, the Yieldno CEO, has sent out some information this particular week. So he just wanted to update us a bit on the uh, basically email that we went through in detail last week here. And uh, if we just read through this one, it says everything is working in the right direction despite the delay with the NFTs, but we need to make absolutely sure it is legally viable. Also keep in mind that else progress is being made, but realistically you need to look at the end of 2023, early 2024 until Yield Notes Pro can raise, uh, basically come back up and we can get back on track. Anything else will be unrealistic. And this is why the roadmap has been planned out as it has. Especially the Decenemy Asset uh, commitment looks to be good in his personal view, because once we can get the transactional value, all generate coins will uh, basically raise the value of the coins. So not down to speculation but a real foundation. And then he mentions also here, which we had from already last week, 400 million in transactional value is quite a good base. And we still have eight months to collect further partnerships. Apart from this, he also says here, what you see uh, in raise and fall is pure speculation currently and will raise uh, once more. And once more people realize and see proof of progress through the year. We will also show them transparency in due time. Yes, for sure. We definitely would like to have that. And I'm sure a lot of other Yellows members too. NFTs are a midterm solution to give you control over your shares, so to speak. But the work on the full picture is still ongoing. I'm pushing and annoying the team just as the next guy because my own savings are locked in just the same way as everybody else's. Stay strong and don't lose face. Step by step, it gets better and better. Sincerely, Steve, and Steve, we certainly hope so. We are still with you, but it would be nice to have a bit of an update. So apart from the roadmap that we know already, how it is, if there's any changes or adjustments, uh, we will certainly like to hear about them in your next newsletter. And on top of this, we have something which is not really very positive either. We understand here now from the BIREC, which is basically the uh, crypto exchange that is also under yield notes. The Bitcoin withdrawal are suspended for the moment. The congestion is too high and we pay uh, even $57 uh, fee per withdrawal. And they will then basically open it up again once it has become stable. We can see that the, the uh, Birec, uh coins in here has also taken a beating for this particular part. So obviously this is not what we want to see. This is definitely not going in the direction that we wanted it to. But let's have a look at the coins that we normally uh, have a look at and basically have looked now for the last one and a half years. The first one is SAP or Sapphire coin. And we can see on iHost MN the return on the investment per year was last week 51%. Now it's up to 59. So a nice increase of eight. And again, this is a yearly return. The shared master noting that we have in the last 
uh, week is about two and a half percent. So that is where we are normally expected to be. Overall coin development, well, it hasn't really changed anything. We are still in minus. We are at minus 71.42% as of right now. And if we have a look at the graph, not much is changing. It is uh, a bit on the downward scale at the moment. So we'll have to see where things are going from here. PNY is the one that, well, we are cashing in every single week. If you look at the return on the investment for the coin here, it is down. Uh, so last week it was 63%. Now it's down to 59. The shared master noting that we have, we are basically at about 9.5% for the week, which is obviously great. But if the overall coin development is not really developing, then obviously there's not much to be had here. We are still at minus 94%, and uh, that is definitely not a place to be, but we don't expect this to change much anytime soon anyway. And you can see how flat the graph has been now for, for many, many months. Going to Bayrek, as I mentioned here before, uh, they have also taken a hit this week. The return on the investment per year was 143% last week. Now it's 140, so that's not really a big hit. 3% down on an overall of one year. But if we have a look at the uh, shared master noting, we can see that uh, it has actually provided about 10% in the last week. But overall coin development has certainly taken a hit. The uh, Bayrek is the only coin that has actually been positive. So for the last uh, many weeks and even months here, and it's gone from plus 48% and we are now down to almost minus three. So definitely a big hit. And that has, of course, something to do with also the uh, payment out in Bitcoin that I just mentioned to you before. So the graph itself also on a downwards trend here. And you will also see that Bitcoin has been a bit similar. So in the past week. So going to that one here, we have the little red circle and that's where we basically left Bitcoin last week. So that was right around the $29,000. Since then it was going up uh, and came very close to 30,000. And then it's been sliding downhill. And for the last many days, it has been trading sideways. Right now it's trading around 27,500 mark. Elevate Pass, well, we mentioned it before. Uh, we're going to talk to the uh, CEO also here, but the profit for the week is still zero. Obviously, this is one of the things that we want to talk to him about when we can expect to see any changes. What have they done? And if you are still new to Elevate Pass and haven't really uh, gone up to date with what is happening here, how they try to recover the money, we have the video that we have now uh, shown for a couple of weeks in a row where they are basically teaming up with Bonten Staking. It's two different companies. They have nothing to do with each other. But within the Elevate Pass platform, you will be able to do some USD staking and you will be able to get up somewhere between two and a half to seven and a half percent every two weeks. It starts a circle over and over again. And those are some of the things that we want to ask Raphael about. Uh, hopefully, if we can meet up with him sometime next week. If we have a quick look at BNB versus USD, we can also see here it has basically had a similar pattern as what we saw with Bitcoin. We left it last time about 325, I believe. And then since then, it's only gotten slightly higher. And then also like Bitcoin here, it has been dropping down. And then for the last many days, it has been trading sideways, currently trading around the $311 mark which is still good. Anything over 300 in our book is extremely good. From the Trillion platform, we also have a correction regarding transfer limits in here. It says, unfortunately, we made a mistake in our last newsletter. We apologize for the misunderstanding. Below are the uh, corrected uh, transfer limits for verified and non-verified Trillion accounts. And verified accounts has transfer limits of 250,000 uh, Trill or $50,000 in three. At the end of the day, it says it's the equivalent to 1 million three. Three is the one coin that uh, is being staked here. Non-verified account is transfer limit, 10,000 trill, so which is the stable coin, or $10,000 uh, in uh, three. And then the correspondent to an equivalent of 200,000 three. At the end of the day, 
And again, they say, please note that these updated figures, uh, and again, we apologize for the oversight in our last newsletter. We do our best, as always, to provide you with very accurate and up-to-date information. And if we just have a quick look, you can see here the three packages that uh, you are staking in here. We have the short-term ones, which is the four, nine, and 26 weeks. And then you have the yield also on the side for one and a half percent, three and a half percent, and 11. That is then spread up over the uh, individual weeks that you see here. Or we uh, go with, for example, the 52 weeks, uh, which is basically a year. And then you're getting a yield of 50% spread again over those 52 weeks. That is basically how the income comes through the Trillion platform. So if we have a look at the, uh, the tree in here, uh, we can see that uh, basically we have gone from a point triple zero to uh, 7912, which it was last week. We are pretty much up by 25%. So point zero zero one zero nine five two now, a lot of digits in this particular one here. Um, but it is moving in the right direction, even though in the last uh, day or so, it has been a bit on the negative side. If we also have a look at the uh, second part, so that is coin store, then we can see also here that uh, it is up by about 25% now to 0 0.0010656. And again, also here, it has a very similar pattern. They are now pretty much synchronized and aligned, as you can see. When we come to Money Tree, we have a new video out, and that one we actually sent out already last week here, where we have unlocked, and this is basically an Excel heavy video, where we go in and try and find the best currency pairs to match them up with our EA, and then also add them onto new medium and high risk accounts, which we are now trading. And we have done that now for uh, quite a bit of time here. So about a week or 10 days and the results is quite good. And as you can see here for week 18, we now have three different uh, setups. Instead, we are basically taking away the IG account, which is not really working because it is broker sensitive for that particular EA here. So we are now only focusing on the Blaze broker on the low risk, which made $488 or 6.3% for the past week. We also have now the medium risk, which is uh, currently trading eight currency pairs, and that is $390 or 7.8% for the week. It was an extremely good trading week, as you can see here. And then we have the high risk, which is also, again, just with the higher lot size, but with also eight currency pairs in there. We made $774 or 15.5%. And obviously it is finally nice to see some decent numbers here as we are breaking down the money tree in a handleable uh, way uh, where we can get some good decent profits out of it. And that's also why we have made this particular video here where we are showing you exactly the ultra high win rate. And these are the numbers that we have basically picked out of our FX Blue accounts. I'm showing you this. And at the same time, we also went back to LeapFX, which is basically the developers of this EA, asked them if they could uh, provide our viewers with a bit of a discount uh, now that we have made quite a few videos on this. And we have shown actually there is a way to get a good, decent profit out of it. They said yes, and they have provided us with a 10% discount. Uh, if you want to buy this particular EA, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. The price is a bit different, so go and have a look on their website itself. And then you can use the promo codes that we have both in the video description below here and also on our website if you are interested in buying this one here for yourself. You can find more uh, details about it on our website, as I mentioned. We have our normal settings that we are now up. It's still IG is in there together with the Blaze Broker. And now below we have both medium risk and high risk. And you can see you have a coupon code in here for the 10% where you basically have a validation until the 14th of May. After that, there will still be a discount, but that discount will only be 5%. So you obviously have an opportunity to go in here and get a higher discount at least until the end of the week. And this is what you're gonna see when you get to the FX Blue site. You can follow all our trades. They are normally updated within about a minute or less, sometimes even just a few seconds. You can see that these ones here are trading different currency pairs. You can see 
how much they are trading of each and you can go in and dissect it further you can then basically pick all these things out so when you buy your own robot you can set it up exactly as ours or you can even uh, make some changes whatever you want if we have a look at the profit retriever that one has also recovered for the week is doing a lot better first of all let's have a look at the top five and Aussie Japanese is the one on top here for $2,168 or 21.7%. It has recovered. It's been in a drawdown for a long time. US Swiss francs, $624 or 6.2%. And then Aussie USD, $573 or 5.7% here. FTSE 100 is doing quite well. So $525, 5.3%. And Aussie Japanese, number two, $393 or 3.9%. Overall, if you would have traded those uh, top five in the last week, you would have made $4,283 or 8.6%, which is definitely not bad. Our entire portfolio, which is the way you should actually trade the profit retriever, is uh, now here about uh, 419, 420 days old. You can see we are moving in the right direction. And so far, we can also see that in May, we have made about six and a half thousand dollars and it is climbing up. Uh, it has flattened out in the last month since uh, we didn't do so well there. But things are moving in the right direction again. So definitely uh, good results. Results is also what we have in our new series, the top 10 results, where we go back basically four weeks. We have a look at all the EAs in our portfolio and then show you which ones are the best ones, which has been the best ones to trade for the past four weeks, because having a look at individual days or having a look even just for a week is not really much, especially the way the profit retriever operates. It is good to take a step back and have a look at either four weeks or even quarterly profits to understand which ones is the ones that continue to cash in. And as you can see here over the last four weeks, the top 10 actually made just over $10,000. And we also made a new video on this particular one with the magical drawdown. This was actually to show you when things were tough here last month, um, how you can have a look and see where these magical drawdowns, where they happen, why they happen, and how you can actually uh, sort of kind of predict exactly what is going to happen. So you can go in and either manual intervene, you can hedge whatever you want, but you have at least an opportunity to figure out if you are in trouble here or not. If we also have a look at our website, everything has been updated, especially with in mind of the four week review that we are doing now. So you have a good opportunity to figure out if you want to either uh, copy our signals or you want to set up your own which ones are the best ones which ones are the best uh, stable ones that are cashing in every single week and you find more information on that through the website where you can either uh, on the profit retriever trading find details uh, that if you want to do and trade this yourself or you go to the other section where the copy link trading is that will also have a lot of links with expert forex and the copy link service in there now, Expert Forex has also um, been working hard, and basically, we now have this spaghetti trader that we beta traded uh, quite a few months back now. Here it is, there, and it is actually for free. So, yes, you heard me right, it is actually for free if you are a premium member. So, within the Expert Forex, you can go in and download it. We have done so already, and we have also put it on a couple of trading accounts to see exactly how well it will be doing. Now you can find more about that in the premium forum in here. It's under section 14, as you can see here. And you could download that part. Plus you have a couple of extra robots that is also for free. And um, that is definitely a good opportunity to get started with some robots. Now there's also downloads. And as always, when you download the Spaghetti Trader itself and any other EA from Expert Forex, you have your user guides. And most of the time you will also find that you both have an MT4 and an MT5 EA, so you can work it and trade it on both platforms. Last but not least, we also have Alex currently trying to trade himself into a million dollars. And this is basically the latest update from him where he's gonna show the progression. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. As you can see, plenty of exciting news, plenty of movement, especially within the EA trading. 
there will be a lot more updates and we will also update our website for the spaghetti trader so you can follow everything that we do and obviously we will make more videos in the future that we will also have uh, basically presented on the news report here so i hope to see you very soon and latest uh, next week in our next news report bye bye i hope you enjoyed our news report so please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback but before you go make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on that way you will never miss any of our future videos we hope to see you back on this channel very soon